Hi guys, my name is Nikki, aka the Dragon Queen here at Dragon Queen Lair, and I am here with, with Crystal. Um, I'm known as Skeptical Bookworm over on my channel. And we are here with a brand new original tag, and this is called the Dragon Book Tag. We had to do something because Dragon <laughs> Queen, Skeptical Bookworm, <laughs> so the way this is going to work is we have this jar here with a bunch of questions. We took a bunch of random uh, types of dragons, so like Oriental and um, Worm, I mean Worm, Western, <laughs> Giant, Serpent, those are some of the ones. And we each wrote some questions up for them, so we're just going to pick some out and both answer them. Both answer or just one of us answer? Um, we can just alternate unless it's like one that we both really want to answer. Okay. So, I will let the guests go first. I haven't looked at these questions since we made them. It's been a while. <laughs> Put that on there. Okay. Great Serpent. Fantasy with Asian setting and influence. Okay, I'm actually super glad that I got this one because I already have one off the top of my head. Um, it's one of my favorites. It is the Tiger's Daughter. Um, I believe it's her... Sweet Ascent or something along those lines. It's a trilogy I've been going out and it is amazing. It has female female romance. It's not the healthiest romance, but it's just it's everything. <laughs> Check that out. Um, mine, just because I have an answer to, is the Heartstriker series by mm -hmm. Rachel Aaron. It is amazing. It follows dragons and also they have Asian descents in it. Like, I don't think the main character is Asian. But the book, third book has Chinese in it, so it counts, kind of. <laughs> I might actually check that out. It's got dragons and a little bit of Asian. Yeah. I'm interested in that. All right, so mine, Lindorm, a book that kept you up at night. Um, Horror-wise, I can't really think of one. I guess The Shining kind of did. But actual interest-wise, the last one was The uh, Book Thief. I could not put it down. Well, last night I stayed up at three o'clock in the morning listening to Evelyn Hugo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I fell asleep at midnight. I'm like, I'm so tired. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's see here. Great Serpent. So, wasn't this what I did last time, but probably a different question? Probably. We both came up with the questions, but some of ours were the same and some of ours were different, so we just wanted to include them all. Um, one book that you would pass down to your kids. Oh, I'm, if I had to pick one, it probably would be the fifth season along with that, the rest of the series. That's just personal for me. Mine is, um, I actually answered this in a video with another booktuber, but, um, it was Shel Silverstein, uh, where the sidewalk is. If you hear anything in the background, there's a party going on out there. Anyway, it's my turn, right? Yes, it's your turn, yes. A uh, fae, or fairy dragon. Name a fae fairy fantasy. Oh. <laughs> so my first instinct is the book I'm writing, but that's not out, so that doesn't count. You know what? Actually, no. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to self-plug here. Um, so there is a, a book, an anthology, that is the um, scribes journal and it's not like the best written thing I'll say that straight up it was my first anthology I apologize ahead of time <laughs> but Nessie has a story in it and she is a fae that becomes death okay now that sounds interesting like you're yeah. talking like the personification of death yes she's kinda... one of my main characters and I love her so much <laughs> I kind of want to check that out I don't I'm gonna pass on that I do enjoy fae but I can't think of anything that's not like already over talked about so, yeah that's fair yeah I just want to say you also have like really good handwriting like you would not be able to understand it if I wrote these questions out Weirbin, um, a character you felt was too aggressive or too much oh, this is a hard one yeah this is a real hard one um I like, I like aggressive extreme characters. They can be really fun. Like, I really do. I'm trying to think of one that was just like too much though. If I had, 
It had to be someone that was over dramatic, not as much as aggressive. Because okay, okay. So I, I'm having to do recent books because that's the only thing that I'm be able to remember. I just finished the original um, Shatter Me trilogy, which is a YA dystopian kind of thing, and occasionally I, which I mean I feel this way when I read certain YA romances anyway, but it was occasionally a little just like I really like it. Mm seemed like a soap opera but the book said like if book said it was a soap opera like right. so at least we're being honest <laughs> yes at least it's self-aware um mine was mine was the queen lavana from the lunar chronicle series i'm about to start reading that i haven't started it yet she is so fucking much it's not even funny <laughs> i'm just like calm the fuck down lady <laughs> please for the love of god that was my turn Oh yeah. Oh, what, when did she show up? Was it like in the first book? Or the she's in the first book. Yeah. I'm gonna keep an eye out for her. Yeah, she's in the first <laughs> book definitely. All right. Uh, Euroboros. I don't know what that is, but name a book with alchemy. I'm gonna cheat. The Alchemist. <laughs> <laughs> I almost picked that up because I haven't read that yet. It's like a classic, right? Yeah. Um, I don't know if it's a classic, but it's it's decent. It's um, it follows a. Like, it has less focus on the alchemist himself, but he is a character in the story. And you're kind of going to the historical reasoning behind everybody. Um, and they kind of explain how all these historical figures are actually, like, magic. Ooh. Which is really interesting. Yeah, like, I, I really like that. If I had... Okay. Can we talk about manga? Because, I mean, I'm about to cheat, too. Sure. There's Full Metal Alchemist. I mean, that one has, like, legitimate... I'm pretty sure it even has, the, um, I think the Urboros, Euroboros, however you say it, I believe that that's actually a symbol in the... That's cool. Yeah. Is it my turn? <laughs> so, I can't keep track. It's been a long day, guys. It's been a long week, a week in, or however you want to do it. Devilfish. I always, I thought this one was so funny when we looked up dragons. I was like, what the heck? Name a book with thievery or scams. Um... I have that basic six of crows answer I just want to throw out there. Um, I know that there's a new book I haven't read, but I'm really interested in. It's Dance with Thieves, and that's with um, Mary E. Pearson. And you know the Kiss of Deception, maybe? I've heard of that one today, yeah. but I haven't heard of, like, actually read it's it. It's in the same world as that, but the Kiss of Deception is a really good one. It follows, like, I'm not trying to do that on the video, but, you know, it follows, like, um... A princess that runs away, an assassin, and her um, the guy that she's supposed to marry comes after her, and you don't know which one's which. Oh, okay, okay. And you see both their perspectives. Um, for me, it would be, um, Miss Porn. I I'm about to read that one too. Yeah, that one's yeah. Um, I actually I started reading that in paperback, and I like kind of wasn't in the mood for it but I listened to it on audiobook and I fell in love with it and I had to re listen to all three of them immediately I might do that because that was one of my biggest things with Brandon Sanderson I read um, Elantris and yeah. I loved it but it took me so long I think it was just because I was viewing it from the wrong format yeah audiobook worked really well for me for his books Draconic Hybrid name a book that could be considered a genre mash oh crap um I think I have two, but I don't know if they're happy. I'm gonna go with Genius the Game. I mean, it's hybrid in genre mash would be sci-fi and contemporary? I think? I don't even know if that's really what it was, but it's like, it follows, it's modern day geniuses. Who are all under the age of 18 and they're all put into a game which kind of has a sci-fi element to it but it's um these kids going through their own real life shit so it's like i don't like I don't, alternate reality but with it was in reality it was just so over the top hmm. I, just, I don't know i mean maybe i'm probably wrong um the book that i recommended the fifth season it has strong science fiction elements and I read, have you ever, heard, I've never heard of a genre. Have you heard of a genre called like urban science fiction? Like it's almost like urban fantasy, but it's science fiction instead. No, I've heard of urban fantasy only. I just read a short novella that was set in a decrypted New York and it felt like 
urban science fiction. Like, if that's not a genre, they need to make that a genre. It's a genre now. <laughs> it's my turn, right? Yes. Western Dragon. <clears throat> if you could pick any type of magical breath ability, which? So I'm assuming just like with the typical dragons, you know, some breathe fire, some breathe fire. So in D&D, this is where my mind was going with this okay. question. It was, uh, there's like fire, ice, lightning, uh, poison, um, cold, necrotic, like those types of things. No, necrotic, like rotting or like death? That one's really like that one's dark and I kind of want to do that one. Um, like each have their bonus. Like each of them have a bonus. Well, what does that one have for a bonus? Uh, necrotic. It's it kind of like decays the flesh, so there's like no coming back from it. And a lot like in D and D, there's a lot of um, spells that like that will stop you from healing. Well, that sounds very extreme and up my alley. <laughs> So that's what I would have. Mine is, uh, I would probably go with poison. Yeah, that was the second one. Because it's just, it sucks. And like in Dungeons and Dragons, which is where my brain is going with this, it's like, it's puts you at such a disadvantage in the game. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> I'm winning. <laughs> if I can win and do the shitty class, y'all need to step up your game. <laughs> so I'm going to say this is our last one for this. And Sounds then we'll good go to yours. Yeah. Serpent waste. Now this one is the one that has the bottom half as a dragon or a serpent and the top half of a humanoid. Um, a book you couldn't put down. I'm going to cheat and also go with uh, The Book Thief because I read that in two days and could not put it down even though I was crying. Um, I'm going to say a, a little trilogy. Um, I was actually pissed off that I couldn't put it down when I got to the end. And that was just the Grisha verse, because like I, I am trash for elemental magic. Like elemental magic is my thing. If it's, I think it's because when I was a kid, I watched Avatar, and yeah. it's just one of my things. So, but I was very pissed with the ending. I didn't like how it ended. I, it could have been totally different. I got a head cannon of my own and everything. <laughs> this is not how I imagined it. Damn it! Exactly. This actually kind of goes with that fan fiction thing that they had today. Uh, they were talking about how. Like, have you ever imagined it in your head and they got mad when it didn't go that way? <laughs> it's like all the time. Every single the time. Um, so that is the dragon book tag. I would tag everybody, but I'm specifically tagging Heather from the Happy Booktuber, and I'm tagging Desiree from Libra La Libri Libra, and. Huh? <laughs> oh. you took my, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Um, and yeah, please go check out the rest of our questions over at her channel, Skeptical Bookworm, W Y R M. Yes. And if you like, like it if you like it, subscribe if you want to. And this is the Dragon Queen signing off.